Hello my friends, today I have a new project which is uh, a collaboration between me and 8th uh, graders uh, Grade B International in the IIS I wanted to mention that this wasp was brought by my student Bara Abu Dabur and we're gonna make a kind of observation look how nice it is I don't know what's the type but I know that we live in the Middle East That's cool. Let's go here. <clears throat> I use this electronic tongue and what we put here under the microscope we can see it there look how clear it is it's more clear here while I'm using the back camera look at the stinger we're gonna <coughs> We're gonna check this under the microscope, actually. This is our goal. This is a wasp. And it's dead. So, let's go to the microscope. I have here... I have my microscope. Which is... Uh, 1000X electronic microscope <clears throat> you can this you can get this for cheap and it's so nice hello uh, this is the wasp we talked about and uh, I put it under the microscope this is the tip of the uh, of the needle I'm using and this is the eyes this is the eye. Look at these hairs. These are things that we can see. <coughs> Sorry. These are things that we can see. Actually, um, I wanted to show you the full wasp and then I'm gonna start to take off some parts of course it's dead we didn't kill it it's dead we found it dead on the yard this is its face we're gonna start to remove this antenna because I can't uh, I can't handle it with all the antennas and legs that it has <coughs> I'm gonna remove this first it's gone here This is one of the antennas. Let's go deeper. Wow. That's so weird. This is the tip of the tongue. These are both. Look 
how small it is. That is crazy. We can still see that. Oh, no, you can't move it. It's broke. It's broke into pieces. Let's see. <clears throat> I am speechless. Okay, I'm gonna take this apart. Go back to our dead friend. Hello. I'm gonna take off the other antenna. Now it's gone. Now we can clearly see the face. This is the eye. It has been dead like three, four days. I took off the face, the, the head, sorry. I'm sorry if uh, anyone feels like uh, this is a graphic or something. We do this for research actually. as an observation process this is the full head it's been dead like three four days so it's can easily be taken apart. Look at the eyes. This is one eye. This is the other eye. And I think this is the nose. Look. It has two things here. And of course the antennas were attached here to this place. Here are the antennas. And here's the mouth. I'm gonna I'm gonna do something to the mouth. I wanna see let's go closer. You know, because it's it has been dead like for three, four days. I can't even uh, move any part. But uh, here, there's a vertical uh, view of the mouth. Sorry. Yeah, this is this is the view. Uh, I'm gonna make it clear. Here is the mouth. I cannot move any part of the mouth actually. They 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 are unbreakable. I don't know why. Here. I can move this part only. It's 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 mouth. And I tell you again, we do this for observation. My goal is to give ideas for my students about 
how you can observe things and make like a YouTube channel which can bring benefits for uh, for others you don't know who's gonna need your video and <coughs> your video is going to be this is the head from backwards by the way this is how, how it's connected Roof, he, the, the head is connected was connected from here so we don't do this for fun we do this for science this is one eye and the eye I heard that it has like thousands of eyes look at the curve on here the eye is from here to there <coughs> Gonna try to to take um, to take apart the eye. I'm really sorry for that, but I need to do that. the eye wow 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 is one eye that's it for the eye <clears throat> let's go back to the main body this is the main body Here is the place where the head was connected. Here, I don't know how it moves. Look at this nerve. Look at this nerve. I don't know how it can move its head. There are no muscles. That's so weird. <coughs> These are the legs. And these are, uh, here's one leg and here's the other, and I think these are the body parts which help it move <coughs> its legs. This is one. The body is solid. This is one leg. Look at the leg. How nice it is. You know, it's ha it has like hairs here. Hairs and it has bones here. And look at that. Nice big leg. Wow. You know, that's so weird for me. 
Let's go back to the main body and the wing. I think the wings are easy to handle. And let's remember the, the speed in which this creature moves its wings. That's the wing. The wing is light, too light. Now, after we, we're done with the wing, let's go back to the main body. This is the main body. I don't know what's going on with this. I don't know if I can open it. It's solid, actually main body is solid so I can break it open I'm gonna see the interior part Final thing I'm interested in is the finger. You know, it's difficult to. This is the. the, the, the This is the main body from inside. Sorry, I'm shaking. I feel it's empty. I don't know how it moves out. Yeah, it's almost empty. Weird. This creature has empty body. This is the stinger. It has some dry poison, I think. Yeah, dry. Gonna try to pull the stringer, the stringer out. That's difficult. That's not easy. Oh, the poison is gone, and here's the, the stinger. I don't think I'm going to be able to pull it out. It's tiny. And the, the, the tongue I have is not prepared for such a job Wow I'm 
going to be careful. Going after the finger. I still can't. Take it out. Here is the finger. Here's, here's, here's. Yeah, here's the finger. That's so sharp. It is sharp. Look. I'm done. I think that's enough for today. I'm gonna show you the final uh, product of what we did. I'm so sorry for the For the graphic scenery, but we're doing that for for scientific research, and I want to inspire my students to be scientists in the future. We did this using uh, primary equipment. Microscope, a needle, a tongue, and the creature. Finally, that's how I look when I make my exper experiments. This is my microphone. And uh, these are the experiment uh, equipment I, um, I use. Uh, actually, I'm trying to use everything I got to inspire my students to do uh, things which are so creative and become scientists or become youtubers or something because i want them to be prepared for uh, their future uh, i hope you enjoyed the video and now it's the time to use my um, programs and do the editing and inshallah we're gonna be posting that on youtube bye for now
This is Teacher Muhammad Al-Aswad and bye for now my friends.